So what is Adobe's Substance 3D Collection? Uh, in short, the Substance 3D Collection is a series of applications and tools that will help you create some incredible 3D images. Over the years, Substance has been an industry leader in visual effects, animation, games, and helping create some of the most iconic characters and environments in the last 20 years. For most of that time, Substance has been focused on the material creation part of the 3D pipeline, but it has since grown out into encompassing modeling, rendering, all these applications. So not only can you use Substance as part of your 3D pipeline, you can actually use it as your entire 3D pipeline. So I keep using this word 3D pipeline. And before I go any further, I want to just start off by explaining what the pipeline or workflow is for creating a 3D asset. To begin a 3D pipeline, generally you have an artist that will design the asset. This is either done through drawings or traditional sculpture, and then the designer will pass that to a modeler who will create digital geometry based on that design. This creation process can be done in many ways. Um, some software will start with shapes like spheres or cubes, and the modeler can manipulate them into the desired form. Other software works more like traditional clay sculpting, and others can use scan data or photographic data to build the model through a process called photogrammetry. Once the base model is built, the asset must go through a process called UVing or UV unwrapping. This process prepares the model by taking the 3D shapes and laying them out on a 2D plane to allow for more control over the final look of the asset during the material creation process. At this point, if the asset is a character or something else that requires articulated movements, it must go through the process of rigging. A rigging artist essentially gives the asset a digital skeleton and controls that allow an animator to create a unique performance. So after the rigging artist is complete, it is passed to the animator to add this performance and give the asset life. If articulated animation is not required for your asset, you can skip this part and go directly to the material artist. Material artists or surfacing artists will define the surface qualities of the object. Is the object made out of wood, flesh, glass, plastic? If plastic, what color is the plastic? Is it a hard, dense plastic or a soft plastic like a Lego? Is it reflective? Is it brand new? Or has it been scratched and damaged over years of use? These are the questions that need to be answered during the material creation process. The final step of the process is lighting and compositing. The 3D asset is added to a scene either with other 3D assets or integrated into a photographic backplate. At this time, an artist or group of artists will add digital lights to illuminate the scene in a desired way and ultimately compose and create the final image in our pipeline. There are definitely other steps in many 3D pipelines. Some require cloth or fur to be put on characters that are done by unique artists. Others have artists who are dedicated to camera placement and movement along with the layout of the scene as a whole. Also, many assets have effects elements that need to be added, smoke, fire, sparks, those kinds of things, and effects artists can often help with that. But overall, you can see how this basic step-by-step -step passing an asset down the line can work to create your digital asset. So where does Substance fit into all this? Originally, Substance was designed to make the material creation process better. So what does that look like in practice? In practice, you used to have to paint all the material properties in a 2D tool like Photoshop. As you can imagine, working with multiple maps in a 2D tool to create a 3D object is not an ideal workflow. There was lots of guesswork and wasted cycles trying to place certain elements in just the right spot. A logarithmic created the Substance Software Suite to simplify that process and create a better workflow. What resulted was a series of software that revolutionized material creation. There was Substance Designer, which is a node-based software that allows users the ability to create incredible material files. There is Substance Sampler, which easily transforms photographs and scans of real objects into digital materials. And probably the most popular software, Substance Painter, which allows you the ability to paint all your maps simultaneously in 3D space directly on the 3D object. As you can imagine, this was huge for 3D artists. Additionally, as all this amazing content was being created, Substance began constructing a digital asset library of materials for users to utilize in their projects. That library grew and grew, and today even consists of thousands of materials, models, light rigs, and much more. There's also a community asset library for people to contribute their own creations. 
And since Substance was inserted into the center of many 3D pipelines, they had to play nice with the other software. Because traditionally, 3D creation involves many software coming together to make your pipeline. So Substance developed workflows and plugins to work with almost any other 3D application out there. In 2019, a logarithmic was purchased by Adobe. Since that time, Substance's offerings have started to grow outside of just the material creation process. Now Substance also includes Stager, which is a powerful rendering tool that was based off of Adobe's first foray into the 3D world, which was Dimension. Substance is also growing into the modeling world. They have their photogrammetry feature inside of Substance Sampler that was just announced that will use scan data and photographs to create 3D objects, as well as the 2022 announcement that the Substance 3D team was releasing their own modeling application. Substance 3D Modeler is a clay-like modeling tool that allows you to create unique assets either in desktop mode or with a VR headset. With these additional software tools, it is now possible to create an entire 3D asset within the Substance pipeline. But that being said, the plugins and functionality still exist to implement Substance into any 3D pipeline regardless of what 3D software you're using. So in recap, Substance is a really powerful tool for helping you create 3D assets. All right, so that's it. That in a nutshell is the entire 3D asset production pipeline, as well as the Adobe Substance 3D tools. In future videos, I'm going to be going more deeply in each one of those Substance applications to tell you about the times that you will use them, how to use them, how to build some really cool stuff. Additionally, I'm going to be building some end-to-end -end workflows where I'm going to be showing you my entire process of creating certain projects from start to finish. So make sure you check those out, check out the other videos on this channel, and I look forward to seeing you there.